So let's talk about how to use the Minecraft theatrical mod. So I'm starting in my browser. I'm using incognito just so that that's uh, kind of what you're going to see when you do it because then none of my like saved things are going to show up. So we're going to go to CurseForge. And we're going to click on Minecraft. And then we're going to search for mods and we're going to search for theatrical. Oops, caps lock is on. Okay. And it's this one right here. And then we're going to go to 1.16 game version. 1.16.5 uh, because that's going to be the, the most recent version. That's the full, like, the full update. Um... There is a 1.19.2 version that is under development, but it is not anywhere near done. This is this is the actual release for 1.16. So we would then click install with CurseForge. I already have it kind of installed, so I'm not going to do that. But you would install that with CurseForge into a new profile. And we're going to need two more mods. We're going to need the power mod, and it's spelled like that. And we need that because that helps. That's what powers the fixtures and the equipment in the game. So then you would go to 1.16.5, and this top one is the one you would want to click. And then you would just go here. I'll have links in the description for this too. Um, and we're going to need one more mod, the Lollipop mod, which I believe helps run the power mod. Not sure exactly, but I think that's what it does. Also, 1.16.5, and you would install that with CurseForge. Um, if you want to do it manually, you can do that too. But um, I, this is, I'm not going to go over how to do install mods manually. You can figure that out on your own. Um, so another thing that uh, is weird is it's going to be weird for me. I would show you how to launch all this, but um, I'm running an M1 Mac which has a problem with um, 1.16 version uh, 1.16 version of Forge. It can't find the GPU, so um, it will try to launch it, and then it will crash. So I have to launch from MultiMC, and then I have to uh, run a, a custom piece of code and all this other stuff there. So I'm not going to show you how to do that normally. But, um, I will, but yeah, what I will show you, uh, I will do my best to show you what to do. So... The other thing is we're going to need another piece of software. Um, this is my preference that you can use any lighting software, but I want to show you my preference and how to set up what I use. Because there are other videos that show you how to use um, Dot2, which is another lighting control software. I've never used it, but um, most of the people who are using the Minecraft or are using this mod have used Dot2 or something else. Um, I don't think anybody has used the software that I use. So, we're going to search for ETC EOS Nomad. And scroll down, and we want to go here, get the latest EOS family software. And it's going to ask me for cookies. Fine, I'll do that. Um, and English, North, North America, English, perfect. And you're going to want to, if you're running a Mac, you click on this one. And if you're running on a Windows PC, you click this one. And that will download the software for you. And then you would just click on the download and um, and install it. Um, and then you should be able to run it. Once we've got that open, then we're going to want to go open the app, the ETC US Nomad app. So, and we're going to want to run this in the background while we're running that. So we're going to click here. That's where I'm keeping mine right now. And we're going to, and uh, we'll come back to this. Let's open Minecraft now. So I have Minecraft open now. Um, there's my screen. We have, uh, we're going to click on single player. Create new world. I'm going to go with creative, of course. Uh, difficulty peaceful, and we're going to go with super flat. And perfect. Okay. It's going to open up a new world. 
perfect. We've got a new world open. And now we can set up some stuff. So when you go over here, you have all of these different options. We're going to click on theatrical. And the lights that I want to use, you can use these conventional generic lights, but I want to show you how to set up the moving lights just because they're way more versatile and they're way better to use, I think. So we're going to need a moving light. We're going to need DMX cable, and we're going to need this ArtNet interface. Um, you can control it with this basic lighting desk in-game, but it only gives you 12 DMX channels, so that's not going to get you very far. Um, so I recommend installing them. Um, I recommend using uh, the ArtNet interface just because it'll allow you to control so much more. Um, we're also going to need something to power the lights. So. I don't want that. I want this. The energy cell, which is gives you infinite power. And I'm going to set up three lights. There's my three lights. And we're just going to put the infinite power source there. We're going to take our DMX cable and run it across all of those and run that into our ArtNet interface. And I'm going to leave this ArtNet interface just the way it is right there. We also have to set the address for that, so we're going to keep that as 0. I'm going to set this one to 7. Save. And this one we're going to set to 14. Save. Because these are 7 channel fixtures, I'll show you when we go over to EOS Nomad what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, these are seven channel fixtures, so uh, that's why we need to go up by intervals of seven. All right, so now that we've got that taken care of, we're going to go over to EOS Nomad. So I'm just going to open chat so that we can look at that later. I have EOS Nomad right here. And the first thing you want to do is you're going to go to settings and you go to network. And we have, I have these two things set up. I'm not going to mess with these right now because it's very finicky. But uh, I have two network cards. I have Wi-Fi and um, USB LAN. If you're using a PC, it's going to show up as LAN. Or if you're using uh, uh, like a laptop, it's going to show up as Wi-Fi. So then you have all this and you just want to scroll down to ArtNet and you want to make sure that you've got these enabled, but you have SACN and local DMX disabled, which is what we want. Click Accept, and we're going to click this one offline with Visualizer. And it's going to open it. And this is the screen you're going to see. So we, we have a new, brand new open show. So now that we have a brand new open show, what we're going to do is the first thing we want to do is we want to patch our lights. So we're going to go over here to the patch tab, 12 patch, um, and we're going to click on channel one, type, and we will be going to, we need to make a new type of fixture. So what we're going to do is we're going to go here and we're going to click this plus, I'm going to click on the new fixture. Intensity is where we want our first channel. Then we're going to click the plus again. Search for red. Click on that. And then we're going to search for green. Click on that. We're going to search for blue. And we click on that. Then we want iris. Or focus, take your pick. It, it doesn't matter. Focus, iris, they're pretty much the same thing. Um, and we're going to click on, and then we're going to go with pan. And then we're going to do it with tilt. Oops. Uh, it's going to pop up all of these other things, but you don't have to worry about those. Those are not anything you have to worry about, they're not going to be disabled in the 
uh, settings, it just the software adds them automatically. See, we already have a seven here, so that's those are the enabled parameters, but it automatically adds these other ones. I'm gonna click Save Fixture, and then we're gonna go over and we'll click on one of these other tabs. Live Table is probably the one you want to click on, just so that we can go back. And we're gonna go, oh yeah, and then we need to go back up to patch. And what we'll do is we'll patch our first one. So we're gonna go with that. And then you can either go like this, and you can go, oh wait, it'll show this screen here. So we're gonna go with that first one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we're gonna go and we're gonna double click that. And we're gonna go to new fixture. And we're going to do another one. And we have three lights, so this is the way that we're going to do this. And there you go. There's our three lights. And then the other thing you want to do is you want to go down to protocols. And you want to disable these. Enable ArtNet. Disable the Art Pole. Oops. And disable Local DMX. And then we have one ArtNet universe, and this is perfect. This is the way you want it. And then we're going to go to Unicast, and we're going to type in 127.0.0.1. That's the IP address of the uh, ArtNet interface in-game. And we have that broadcast enabled, which is what we want. And that'll do it for patch. And now we have, if we go back up to live table, we have our three things there. So we can click on this one. And if you click on this thing up here, ML controls, uh, that's moving light controls, then we're, we now have control over channel one. So in theory, what should happen is we should be able to hit that and the intensity of the channel one light has gone up. As you can see, if I go back to ML controls and I take that down, it is now back to where it was. So, and then we can also do this, and we can go and turn two and three on, and why don't we select all three actually, and we'll turn all three to the max. Perfect. So, now let's say we want to program a show. So this is, this is pretty cool. Uh, where we are right now, we can control everything. And so you have this one right here. Um, and say we want to tilt these fixtures. So we can use this tilt one here. And now they have tilted. We can also change the color uh, with the color picker over here. And you just kind of put it on there. We now we got a nice red color. And uh, you go, you also have these wheels over here, which will show you the red, um, show you all that. And we have the iris one over here. So if I open that all the way up, you can see that we have a little bit wider beam. If I close that, and then if I bring it back to zero, we should have a little bit finer beam and we do. And yeah, so that work that works pretty well. Um, we also have the virtual keyboard tab, which is uh, going to be the, mo the one of the most useful things you can use for this. So we have all of uh, we have all of these buttons here. This is what you would look at. This is based. This is the same software that an etc uh, US console uses. So um, they have many things in that series. The uh, I have used three of them in my experience with theater lighting in the last eight years. Um, I've used the Express, oh, sorry, no, the um, uh, Element, the Element, the um, uh, Ion XE, and the Ion. Um, those are all EOS, so they all use this, this same software. Um, but those are physical consoles with physical controls, so they have this keyboard as a real keyboard in front of you. This is just because it's software, we have this keyboard instead. Um, so say we want to record a, um, we want to record a queue. We go to record queue and we're going to say record queue one. Now we have a queue recorded. 
Now, say we want to go and we want to move this other, um, uh, we want to turn off these two. And we select two, and that one's all the way at the max, and then we pan that real deep there. And we'll look at that. There you go. And we can uh, go back to virtual keyboard and record Q2. Now, if I click this button, it'll take us back a Q. So now we're in Q0 right now, which means that everything is turned off. Uh, that is the default on, e on ETC consoles is as soon as you go to Q0, everything goes black. You basically have a blackout. So then we're going to go to that. Now we're at Q1. Oh, wait, no, we're at Q0. Okay, and then it takes a second for it to move. And it's going to, you can see it's doing its thing there. And now it has fully executed that queue. Uh, if you want to change the time that a queue takes, then you can just do time. And we'll make that one second. Um, and then we can get click two. And we'll go to our next one. There you go. And we can make that one one second too. Now, say you want to make this, uh, instead of having to hit the go button every time, you just hit go button for one and then they continue down. So what we'll do is we'll go back a queue. We'll click this column here. And you see the uh, follow in the command line. And we'll go with follow uh, two seconds later. Enter. And now, if we go to Q1, and we'll go to Q0, if I click Go, it'll automatically go. There we go. As you can see, it automatically went. Now, there's a lot of other stuff you could do with the software, but that's basically the basic stuff. Uh, another thing that I highly recommend doing is this tab here, uh, three live MS. That's the that that's called a the MS stands for Magic Sheet. So it, it's basically a lighting plot. Now, lighting plot is just a is just a, a drawing of all of the lights on a two D scale. And so this is an intelligent lighting plot. So you could just click on any of the lights on the plot, and you will be able to adjust them. Uh, so I would recommend setting it up. But I'm not going to do that for this. Um, if you want to do that, you can watch videos. There's plenty of videos on how to do it. Um, but I would highly recommend doing that. Um, there's another cool thing that you can do is you can go to effects. So um, there's this tab here, 13 effects. Oh, by the way, there's plenty of other tabs. You can play with all of these other tabs if you want to add these to your list there. Um, so we have moving ones and then we have color ones. So um, let's say I want to go with, I want this uh, figure eight. So that's effect 903. So what we'll do is we'll go to channel, uh, you know, we'll go to channel two and then we'll do, uh, actually, hang on, let's turn on all three channels and bring that to the max and we'll leave them where they are right now. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll go and we'll type in and we'll go to this button here, effect 903, enter. Now they're doing that figure eight motion. Um, if you want to make the effect even more like, uh, make it even more, uh, make them move faster and like give more like a, you know, uh, more places that they can move, we can do the effect scale. So we'll make the scale 100 instead of 25. And now you can see that they're going much better. And the other thing we can do, we can do a color one at the same time. You can't do two moving ones at the same time, but you can do two color ones at the same time. So we'll go one through three effect. Um, and we'll go with effect 911, which is this cool color, uh, color changing one here. You can see that they're changing colors. 
which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, yeah, it's certainly a, uh, it's fun to, uh, it's a fun thing to play with. Um, uh, there's a whole lot more you can do, but that's about it for right now. And then the other thing I've, I guess I forgot to show you, this is your cue list. So this is just a list of all your cues. Um, and we can do some other, uh, yeah. Uh, so what I'll show you now, uh, we can take a look at, uh, so that's a, the basic setup. I, we can take a look at, uh, another, uh, Wait, another, uh, like my, uh, something that I've been working on for a while. So we will go to, it's always good practice to go to, to click the go to Q0 and, and then click go to Q and then go to Q0. Uh, that helps, um, that just brings everything down to zero and then you can quit the program. We'll click there and then we'll save and quit the title. And we'll go into this world, which I've been working on for a while. And it has a whole setup here. Uh, 63 lights to be exact. And what we'll do is we're going to close this and we're going to go to one live table. Uh, and then I'm going to switch to the show that I want to do. So we're going to go to open and we'll click on that show. And I'm just going to click continue without saving because I don't care. This was just a demonstration. All right. Now I have my magic sheet and all my other stuff open now. So I'm going to click that down arrow so that I can see a little bit better. And we can take a look at the show. So we're going to go, we're going to go to where we, I think we are in Q0. Oh wait, no, we're not. Okay. We're going to go to Q0 then. Oops. No, I don't want query. Go to Q. Oops. Go to Q0. Okay. And we're in Q0 now, or at least we should be, I think. Uh, hard to tell. Okay. Now we should go to Q0.5, and my house lights are up now, and the curtain is closed. The curtain is also on this. It's a command block that just makes a, does a fill command that is also, it's controlled by the software. I'm going to click go, and it'll go to Q1. And there you go. Um, uh, this is used many, I used a lot of effects for this and other things. Um, but yeah, this, uh, that's basically using the Minecraft theatrical mod with uh, ETC EOS Nomad. So I hope that that was a, uh, something cool for people who want to try out this mod and like are sure what lighting software to use. Like I said, you can use any lighting software you want. This is just my preference, but you can use anything that will output on ArtNet, which is pretty much any lighting software these days. So yeah. Yeah. Um, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.